Hello and welcome to John Boy and Jake Radio. Um, Jake, how are you? Say it, don't spray it. I want the news, not the weather. You know? Mm -hmm. Doing all right, Jim. First midweek day game for the Yanks. So we are adjusting by the seat of our pants. LOL. LOL. Uh, so, yeah, I think we're going to be a little bit of a higher and tighter JJR today, probably an abbreviated sports. If you Military want, cut episode. If you want sports, go check out Wake and Jake. Ad. Um, doing all right, Jim. As, as you well know, uh, Yankees land is an ugly place right now because they've lost a few games to who should be their division rival this year. So Yankees Twitter is running hot. Sports are good, so I'm still good. God is good. Up for debate. Oh, <laughs> big lie. Um, I've always been a religious man, so mm. don't care, Thom. Don't care, Thom. I've always been a man of the church. That was his uh, uh, man of faith. Oh well. Oh, oh, that um, almost makes it worse. They kind of started homophobia. Yeah. So. He didn't uh, start the fire. Any man of faith is the problem. <laughs> well, wow. that's, wow. that steps a little. That's over the, the joke. Line. BBD wow. hopping in from the corner. Wow. Producer BBD. Yeah, baseball wow. takes the sports world again, so that's good. News, 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 baby. You know the news that keeps on going. What's in the news? How are you doing? What's new? News. Uh, I'm doing well, man. Sweater weather. Big Kinda. B? I'm big, forcing it. I always force the hoodie. Big B day in the John Boy home. Yeah, Caitlin's birthday today. Is that your number one sweater? I got a lot. I know you do. I mean, I have this exact one in a different color. Right. So it's weird for me to right, say Right, but this. the blue pops out your eyes. So, I mean, it gets an instant leg up on the other one. I like, the, yeah, the other one looks good too. Yeah, I went, when I went on uh, First Take or what, what ESPN show did I go on? Outside the Limes. Outside the Limes. Uh, well, I think I wore the other color and it yeah. looked nice. Yeah, I like it. Um, yeah, a little birthday today. Woke up at 6.30. Tried to get some flowers, a card, and an oak oak milk latte. Oakman latte. Oakman. Uh, Othman. It's my, uh, no, I don't miss him. He kind of turned out to be a He kind of di- turned out to be a casserole. Happy birthday, Katie. One of the John Boy Media wags. I don't like that. Right? It's weird. Wags. Jess had a, a nice Insta story about Katie, and I almost, I wanted to screenshot and be like, wags. She did? What was it? Yeah. Can't talk about it. I gotta check Insta story now? She like wished Katie a happy birthday and said something like the only person that gets how much baseball affects our lives. <laughs> oh. I believe the phrasing was how much baseball ruins our lives. <laughs> Jess can come in hot. How much baseball runs? Runs. Okay. Runs our lives. Wow. Ruins would have been funnier. When's this picture of them from? That's uh, Pronk's wedding, I believe. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Okay. Yes. Ruins would have been rough. Runs is on there. Katie's been watching with me, man. She asked me who I have in the Homer draft. She's all, like, invested in the Homer draft picks and stuff, which is cool. Jess is heading the opposite direction. She's starting just to get, an FYI. She's starting to get really upset. Well, she's got a. I got her a baseball is fun shirt. So when she's just being making rude jokes around the house, like she'll look down and go, "Not," oh. or like this shirt's a lie. Ooh. So she likes to send some shots across the bow. Uh, she's up to 101 interviews. Nice. And we'll see. There's uh there's some good good rumors of brewing. So. Oh, that's cool. Don't want to jinx it. Congrats but, to her. Yeah, we could potentially have some good news coming soon. Big fan of news. The news, it just like tick, 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 tick. It just keeps coming. Tick, tick, tick. All right. What else? So we're not doing sports or are we doing quick sports? I mean, we quick. could check the box real quick. Read the lines. Look at, the, look at the music. Read the music. 
NBA draft lottery is tonight. Always a big night for Knicks fans. A sign of hope that always goes away soon thereafter. Basketball happened. Mavericks upset the Clippers. Doncic had a big game. All the other favorites won, and they weren't really great games. Mariners, DFA Vogelbach. How about that? Stole an all-star spot. Fat. I'm sorry. He is. Jesus. Have you seen him? He's not looking good. Uh, Jordan Alvarez out for the season for Houston. It's, why do bad things happen to good people? Bauer is absolutely shoving. Can't wear his free Joe Kelly cleats. Yeah. Uh, Padres hit the Grand Slam to win it. Machado, that's fun. Grand Slam City from from that series. And uh, Tom Brenneman, just bad guy. Oh. Vogelback, it's tough times. Yeah, he's uh he's got five hits and sixty four plate appearances. Slash line is pretty bad. Look but like, bad. what the hell is Seattle doing? You got time to let him figure it out, or they got time to move on. Like, uh, who's gonna replace him? Someone young and healthy. I guess so. You know, you're really coming at him, huh? Man, I just. Like he's don't get me wrong. You can be hefty and play the sport. You know the Yankees have Mike Ford. Who's you th- pretty, yeah, I was gonna say you think he's significantly bigger than Ford. Yeah. Last season they were kind of similar. Did Vogelbach put on more weight? Uh, Google a recent pick. Like a couple of the late night flips to Mariners games have been like, oh no, man. I listed weight. Ford is almost thirty pounds lighter. Okay. Listed weight. Listed uh, his weight. second half last year after being an All Star was also pretty bad. So so bad. And he shouldn't have been an all-star, just a dumb rule. How about uh, a Garrett Cole with very nice quotes about Gary Sanchez and everything he does for the Yankees that a lot of the fans like to overlook, but casually saying Gary was 250? Like, hey, come on, Garrett. Is he not? Like, chill out. I mean, I think Garrett, Gary's listed at, like, two 230. Oh. So. But he didn't mean it in a fat be way. Be cool about he it. He meant yeah. he's a fucking truck back Yeah. There. I'm Googling, Googling recent pictures of Vogelbach. Dan Vogelbach. Like, he would be the number one player. Number one position player. That I think non-MLB fans could point at and be like, oh, baseball players are athletes? Yeah, I got big. <laughs> Look at this picture of He's him. got a really round face too That doesn't help him <laughs> Look at this picture of him Not great he... Rowdy Tellez is fat I mean Let me um Prince Fielder was huge Let me take it back Cause I mean I don't I don't hate a thick guy Oh my god Sandoval Like Those pictures were unreal Obviously But like that picture you just showed Looks like a Chris Farley sketch almost Well he looks like Chris Farley Which well. doesn't help either Yeah well, good luck to you, Daniel Vogelbeck. Yeah, go figure it out. Fix your swing. Hit some homers. Jordan Alvarez out for the season. I don't think he's a bad guy. So Tough break. Tough good break young ball player. He's about to have some fun. Bauer told he can't wear the free Joe Kelly cleats, and then he complained about it. This is kind of uh, an annoying back and forth that we're doing. Yeah. Where neither side is being completely transparent. But Bauer's obviously going to have more, you know, Bauer's more in the right. But for him to, for Bauer to say, like, it didn't break any rules is not true because the rule says you have to get your cleats. You can wear whatever you want. It can't right. be political, but, and it also has to be okayed by the league. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, these weren't okayed by the league. And there's a gripe there. Right. Maybe that's your gripe. There's your gripe. But Bauer's saying, like, these, by letter of the law are completely legal and you're being unreasonable right. isn't true. They said you have to approve any design by the league. Yeah. And, A, you can kind of see with a half brain why MLB would not approve this design. You're, you're mocking their decision. Yes. You can't wear cleats that mock MLB's decision on something. Yeah, <laughs> and they... So that's like, not not letting the kids play. So that's like, not the letting them are, be mocked. The cleats are funny. It's a good time. 
I, I, you get I, why MLB would not allow these, and now it's going to turn into this whole thing. And I like that he's tagging Correa after the game. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, fun. it's WWE. It's being silly. I get it. Shots fired. Like, the next time Bauer and Correa see each other on a baseball field, I mean, must watch. But, uh, yeah, it's, you know, Trev always takes it kind of a step too far, which is is what it is. And, I mean, more importantly, he's pitching incredibly, <laughs> incredibly, 0.68 ERA. Uh, all the advanced stuff is out of control. So, good for you, Bauer. Go get paid, paid. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, I, I when I saw Bauer, like, Double down on it on Manfred yeah. today. I was like, oh, always. no. He's we always going to double down. We didn't need that. I loved everything until that. I was like, clearly, Bauer, they're not going to let you wear those cleats. Yeah. And even like a fun haver, like I want, I want, right. like, you know, like, come on. Yeah. Why would they approve that? You're right. mocking them. Yes. Yeah. And the juxtaposition against, like, the, well, the Astros cheated and they didn't get any punishments, fair. And that should be thrown in Manfred's face for a while. Yeah. So I'm fine with that too. But it's uh, obviously you can't wear that. Obviously, they're not going to allow you to wear those cleats. Yes. And I think Bauer knows that when he tweets out he's going to wear them. You never know. Yeah. You never know with Trev. The biggest story of the day, uh, well, the, the Padres get some grand slams. They, do the, they do the crybaby, which is funny. They're having fun. They're having fun. Uh, Woodward's probably hating it. Woodward came out with the, the the classic like just because I don't like it doesn't mean it's wrong. <laughs> well, you had your pitcher throw at them the next pitch, yeah. dude. You got suspended. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean that you should tell your pl- players to throw at the other team. He's a bug eater. He just ruined their season. They're done. Lance There's Lynn, no coming though. back from Lance that. Lynn though. Love Lance, but they got beat with yeah. Lance on the mound. I know. He's awesome though. Um, so Tom Brenneman drops Jesus. a hard. F word, not fuck, mm. on the broadcast. Cleared up. And uh, just, I don't know, man. I mean, just everything is just kind of. Adds up. Uh, yeah, microcosm of what's been wrong with old white people running the world. Trying to apologize with faith into your employer. Before we'll, you, we'll go back in case anyone in here. He they, he was thought he was off mic. He was on mic. He said one of the bleepest city capitals of the world. Yeah, I wonder what city he was talking about. Something along those. Um, I think he was referring to Kansas City. They just had a season of Queer Eye there. They were playing Kansas City, so I'm assuming that was someone the said he was in talking, Kansas City. Someone said yeah. he was talking about the Bay Area, like an inning earlier. So maybe they were doing that. Cover. That's a city that gets linked. I mean, nobody really knows. <laughs> yeah. Um, Bizarre either way. So that clip goes viral. I shared it. And then he apologized on air and he opened up his apology with, uh, I am a man of faith, which is, you know, I know this is a very drastic, drastic, hyperbolic comparison. Ooh, here we but go. But it'd almost be like insulting a Jewish person than saying, well, I am a Nazi sympathizer. Ooh. People of faith are the main reason there's bigotry against homo... Uh, uh, there's homophobics in the world. Yeah. People of faith are the main reason why uh, the LGBT community has suffered. Yeah. So opening up your apology with as a man of faith doesn't mean shit, dude. It's basically a double down. Does like it's a low it, key like it's double the most, down. like emptiest like and opening up any apology with as a is bullshit. Just apologize. Yeah. No one cares who you are. Um, and then the first apology is to his employers and quote unquote the people who sign his check. Yeah. And then next his apology is to anyone that was offended. And I would have liked him to single out the community he offended. And there's a drive to deep left field by Castellanos. I mean, just, you know, unacceptable. And I, I, you know, can link a lot of things together. But how how about baseball media in the the 48 hours? They've got Tom Brenneman drafting a hard F.A. The other thing I saw was like. Dude, how about Russo's comments get basically just washed over the 
just the casual Tati seems like an NBA guy. Yeah. Like that's filled with some racist stuff there. So there you go. So you you target, you know, you got some racism and homophobia by two old white men. And the in other baseball. the other the other thing is that I read someone tweet out is like this dude's fifty six years old. He's been an announcer for thirty years, and his dad was an announcer. Yeah. Maybe the problem is also like why don't we get some fresh blood in here? So much fresh blood. So and we much. we should also say we said this off air. So I'll say it now. Like. We say I said that word growing up as a teenager, as, yeah. a, as a dumb dumb kid. Yeah, um, it was very much bundle of sticks. Yeah, it was. You, was the old save, and then um, you find out you shouldn't be saying it anymore. And I've stopped saying it so much to the fact that if I hear friends say it, I kind of cringe and say, "Dude, like yeah. that's," you know. But I mean, you know, it it it, it is. Through time, there is a decade change. Evolve like, as a society. Uh, we, we, uh, everyone evolved. He's a little late. So, like when Kurt Schilling comes out and says, "Everyone said that word." I agree. Not everyone, but there's a vast, vast majority of people that have said that word. But hopefully, it was ten years ago, and then there was kind of the awakening. And I was like, maybe don't say that anymore. Usually not like directed at the group of people or said in that way. I don't know. I mean. Oh, he he dropped a hard emphasis on it as well. Yeah. So and then what'd you think about passing? I was shocked passing didn't asterisk it out and just spelled it. Oh yeah. I I was surprised he didn't. He, at first. I was surprised, but I love it. He handled it well afterwards. Yeah. I, and it it sucks that he has to full on apologize. And I mean, I tweeted out this morning, and then you know some people were liking it, but I was just like, I I don't want to wrestle people all day. But you know, Jeff Passan reports baseball news. So how about we don't have announcers call people hard Fs and Jeff Passan doesn't have to report that? I've got a solution. Great, great call by Rob, and you were kind of saying that as well. People didn't say it back when we said it as kids or we said it, like, about the gay people. It was just an insult. Yeah, when we – I had no idea it was, it was even, the like, Michael, linked to It that. was the Michael Scott quote. It was, you don't call uh, – what's the Michael Scott – you don't call – I'm not going to say it. Yeah, I know. It. Just, There's Michael yeah. Scott quotes. The one about special needs people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, all right, whatever. Yeah. We'll people see also don't say it at work. See what happens so. to him. The apology, very hard to get a good apology there. Like, you know, the, the odds of, of him apologizing on air during the game five hours after it happened while everyone's hot, the odds of that going swimmingly are incredibly, in, almost yeah. zero. But it was never going to fix it. He was never going to fix it. Uh, he had to address it if he was leaving the yeah. show air, but is, you know, opening up with as a man of faith is hilarious. Just bad. Baseball and calling, the, clip. calling the home run in the middle of it. Baseball needs spot. baseball needs fresh blood is uh, and like, hey, are we probably a little biased? Yeah. But I mean, it's so genuine. Turn on a Pirates broadcast like it's. If there's a term below sleepy, Trevor Plouffe tweeted out the Twins home run the other day. That was a moonshot, and you know if you weren't, if you were cooking and your head was turned, you wouldn't have known a home run was hit. Like baseball just needs to snap into it. I mean, look at you know <laughs> the way basketball has grown. I mean, look at some of the guys that call the game and some of the guys that call football games. And, I mean, Gus Johnson and Ruko, our guy. I mean, always so much energy. That's why I think he's loved when he does the Yankees broadcast. That's not a shot of Kaster in them. Like Ruko, they've been bringing the energy as well. Yeah, no, they, they've they been great. So that's, um, you know, make the broad – like, baseball – I'll give a little compliment to you, Jim, if you don't oh, mind. Thanks. With the John Boy Media stuff, there's, there's different – Legs to everything. I mean, there's the Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, different podcasts, websites, shirts, everything. And I definitely didn't have an appreciation of how it all has to tie together. Like, if there's one hole, it, it really hurts the business. And baseball needs to start thinking of things that way. Like, the broadcast needs to be top-notch. Yeah. Like, everything you tie in with between the product and the broadcast and how you get it to the people, like... Every one of those has to be held to a higher level to make the product grow properly. So, um, that's that. It's doing well. Just, you know, that guy begging people to come back, come out and support him is hilarious. 
And then Kurt Schilling being the first person yeah. to support him. Good character witness. Yeah. Good job. All right, we were supposed to go quick on the sports. Done. Oh. Fat fingered wow. the soundboard hit two at once. Um BBD. BBD. quick rodent. Quick rodent. Looks like you have it listed. I do. Aubrey Hoff uh made a statement. Yeah. I'm Yeah. I had been doing a refresh on him for a while. Four minutes ago, put it down. Anyway. Today we are going with where did I put it? We're going with the pack rat. Yep. Ooh. Pack rat. How do you spell it? Just like it sounds. Pack, P A C K. All I'm getting rat, is a moving two, two words. Actually, you can do it as one word, too. Pack rat to animal? Their scientific name is the Neotoma. Just a rat. Yeah. Wood <laughs> rat. Rounder. Rats are fast, so that's why you did it for this quick episode? Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. I was looking hiccup. for a small one today. Never tweeted at Curry about the hiccup thing. He just tweeted at me. Look what at this big old pat rat. I I was talking about his book on morning, so he said thanks for the love. Holy smokes. It's a huge rat. Yeah, that's gross. Yeah, I'm over All it. the rodents have been pretty gross. Good stuff. How many, more, how many more rodents do on we have? The I rodents. another full week of them. Ugh. Tough. Rodents gross. I like the bigger ones. The small ones just creep me out. Okay. <laughs> I got a really big thing. I got <laughs> some really big beans. I read the news today, oh boy, and though the news was rather sad, well, I just had to laugh. Well, it's six o'clock, time for the news. Viral inflatable trousers are now available to pre-order. Thank God. Nintendo has tweaked Mario's nipples. Mm. It's raining chocolate as a factory glitch dusts the Swiss town in Coco. A 393-year-old shark was found dead. He's alive. Did you read up on it? I don't know. He's dead. I read up on it. So he's roaming the... They the used a picture of him alive. They found him dead. Wow. Wow. So nice. he had a good run. Shark fight. And COVID-19 outbreak at Las Vegas Strip Club after strippers squirted vaginal fluids Ooh. onto 18 clients. All caps. That one was a fan. I read the news today. Oh, boy. A, a bait and switch? That one was a fan submission. Oh, a fan submission. Uh-huh. I said a bait and switch. I was like, oh. It was Boobock. Boobock. Mm. Did this happen in Nebraska? Vegas. The 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 Vegas of Nebraska, Grand Island. Yes, Helen Bunny Legrand and eighteen clients of the Red Baron, a local Las Vegas strip club, have been hospitalized after a Friday night performance. Legrand performs a squirting show three times a week, but it appears that she lost control that night and accidentally sprayed several clients. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's pretty graphic. Some of the quotes here and stuff. So. Uh. You want to talk about it? What's well, like a uh, filter one of the graphic lines? Okay. There's a quote from an eyewitness that says, It was coming out like a bleep. Um, <laughs> it was coming out like a. Anything I change it to is going to get the same point across. It was coming out like a geyser. Mm. I had to take at least three showers. Oh, oh, oh my God. To get rid of the stench, burn my clothes so my wife wouldn't. Have... Oh. Yeah, I wish you didn't make me go back. I don't All right. The inflatable trousers are hilarious. Sounds like your speed. No, sounds like your speed. They're like MC Hammer pants that you can blow up. Sounds like your speed on me. Yeah, I'd like you to wear these and grow a pencil mustache. I think you could grow enough of a mustache to get a no, pencil. I wish. I would. Like, you've seen it. It's just like loose hairs. You don't think we could shape it into something? I don't think so. I mean, I'm open to anything. I mean, this looks like uh, derelict garbage pants. Derelict. I like the derelict jokes. Those are good. Inflatable trousers. Oh, shit, dude. Hit the right arrow. Okay. 
There's like pinstriped ones afterwards. Ooh. Like look like this dude, like he you can in, <laughs> you, Oh my god. You can inflate is there a way to show the audience? You can inflate, inflate them in certain parts. Like oh, in yeah, certain yeah, parts. Yeah, I get it. Like you can inflate just the calves. Yeah. This is great if you uh are How on much a boat. Are these? How much are these? Oh. Two grand. E. It's a little above what I was looking to spend on these. Do you know how much they are? Two grand. Oh, that I guessed right. Uh, one is a little over a thousand. The stripe swirl are close to two. Jesus, good guess by me. Yeah, I know my uh, inflatable pants when I see them. Yeah. Look at those pants they just got on the screen. The striped ones are ridiculous. Mm. Does look like genie and Sinbad pants. Mm. You think that's hot? How do you like exist? So in these? hot. If you fart, does it just stay in there? For sure. And then you take off the pants, and it's just like a, like a, the cloud comes out. Like, do all your farts just get stored in there all day? And when you take them off at home, it's just a fart cloud comes out. Do all your farts stay in there, and does a fart come cloud come out at the end of the day? No. I think it does. I think there's a chance, but I don't know. Someone said that's what inflates them. That'd be funny. Whoa. Just got real big by the end of the day. God. It's tough. Those are cool. If they were um, $1,899 less, do you think you'd buy them? I mean, my number that was in play was under 50. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, not going to happen. We can try and make our own. Just put a balloon in your... Buy, just balloon on your legs. Buy really big pants. Put a balloon inside of them. The old leg balloon. Yeah. Nintendo has tweaked Mario's nipples. Mm. Mario. What does that mean? What were they before and what are they now? Not sure. Looks like before... Oh, my God. He didn't have nipples? No. So he's nippleless. So what's the old one? He has nipples no, and now he, he doesn't? Didn't, he didn't have nipples. Okay. Now he does. They kind of look good. The picture of him running? Yeah. That looks nice, yeah. That looks really good. Decent nipples to give him. Should we feel more of an affinity to Mario? You may. Short, hard-working Italian man? You may. I never I never played. I never really played the Mario games. The only time I ever played was when we played uh, DUI in college. Right. Where you you have to finish a beer. Mario Kart. Yeah, with drinking. I never played Mario Beer-yo Kart. Mario Kart is what the kids are calling it these days, I think. What are they calling it? Beerio Kart. Beerio Kart? There's it's a, a better lot of name. names for it. Yeah. That's the only time I ever played anything. Uh, is this a video Mario. game? He's relaxing on the beach. Maybe it's one of those like lifestyle games. One of the next games coming. I don't know. So I have no affinity. I don't know any of the characters. I'm like totally out on that the world and those jokes. Short Italian plumber. But I liked Birio Kart. Yeah, it was good. Well, I only like uh, what we liked it better on the GameCube. Double Ooh, dash. You guys liked it better on the GameCube. Yeah, I wasn't a cuber. GameCube was like the worst system, but. Yeah, we had both. Had the Switch, the first. Double Dash. Yeah. We liked it better on the GameCube in college. Double Dash was sick. Double Dash. I struggled with Double Dash. Pope House. Remember the little section of the big TV in the basement of Pope House with the couch over there? Yeah. Oh, that, my God. That was like yeah. a cool Birio Kart area. We used to play with Summer Shandies back before they were like made and offered in cans. We would make our own. You just got Bud Light wheat beer or Hefeweizen, some wheat beer, mm. and a Mike's Hard Lemonade, and you poured Summer them Shandies. into the same cup. Um, and then we would play beer yo cart with those. So you're really drinking two beers a yeah. race instead of one. That was a lot of fun. That was a good. I was I was I was pretty good because my chugging strategy was. You're was, a gulper. It was good. You're a natural gulper. Yeah, yeah. Because you have Sugar. to you have to drink a whole cup. Some people do yeah in between every lap. Right. I would do half cup before I even started. Some people try to eat the bug. Yeah. Full bug early. Should play that game. Okay. Nah. Mario Kart's basically the only video game I play these days. Is it? Are you good? Yeah. 
Kind of. Before uh, I was offered this job and didn't have time, I did buy myself a Switch and just play that in my spare time. Mm. And now it's like, all right, well, on Sunday mornings before I come in, I play a Loosen little bit. Up. Or when we have the Saturdays off. Are you nostalgic about, like, Nintendo DS? Nostalgic, I wouldn't say. But, like, I had one and liked it a lot. Because Luke, lot you're like Luke's age. You're little old than Pretty Luke. Much. He used to play that all the time. I played kid. it a lot. He would refuse to turn the sound off. Ooh. And I was like, you don't need that. Doot, doot. He, Luke still does this. You don't need the doot, 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 in order to play that game, Luke. We'd yell at him. He's like eight Pretty years much old. every game I play, sound. two times it happens. I go sound off. I'm not playing like story games. Mm. And it's like I go sound off and I'm like listening to other podcasts or yeah. like, watching a show or something. Yeah, Luke used to tell us he needed that doot, 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 to play. And I was like, you don't. You don't. Very you few don't. games that, that I'm playing. It's raining chocolate after a factory glitch dusts a Swiss town in Coco. Mm. Chocolat. Johnny Depp's fifth best movie. Chocolat. What do you uh, think? Raining chocolate. I mean, is it really raining? Like, what are we talking here? A dusting. A dusting of chocolate? I Cocoa like Cocoa powder began falling from the sky. I'm into it. Probably smells good, right? I mean, yeah, it probably smells great. Your initial reaction is probably it's poop. To find out it's chocolate, it's a win. I wonder if living by a chocolate factory smells always good, or is there like a Ooh. turning point, like too much? We live by a, an, uh, not Nintendo, Nabisco factory. Okay, that's pretty close. And uh, I don't know why. I don't know the science behind it, but the day before it rains, it always really smells like chocolate. Oh, rain. I don't get how it works. It's always the day before, not like while it's raining. Damp air heightens. That's why your farts smell worse in the shower than normal. Mm. Uh, That's why you can smell the uh, worms in the earth more during rain because that dampness. So maybe it's the damp before the rain. The calm before the storm. Yeah. Interesting. So it smells good, though? Science. It smells good. Yeah, I like it. There was a baseball field by Hershey. I'm not a rain guy. Hershey Park. Isn't that in New PA? Milford or something? It's I don't know. I know, that, I know the main one's in Pennsylvania, but I don't know if that's where Luke played. I thought the, there was another one. The Denver main highway goes through a Purina dog and cat food factory, and it smells like shit. Mm. Well, you travel from North California, Southern California, and five... Five? Yeah, you pass some uh, slaughterhouses, and those smell awful. Yeah. Smell like nothing but cows being murdered. So then you get to the orchards, and those smell Ooh, pretty. Nicer, better. Yeah. Uh, um, so that's cool. I wish we had, like, a video. Like, I need a video of, to see the, the right. chocolate coming down. Because, I mean, is there a scary moment? Like, are you seeing, like, basically brown how th- rain? How thick was it? Yeah. Cocoa dusting Swiss. Uh, snowing cocoa. I need a video, guys. Chocolate snow. Here it is. Dust Swiss town after lint factory. Okay, so here. Come on. USA Today. So, I mean, that's pretty thick. Oh. This looks like a truck fell over as well. Oops. It looks more like a truck fell over than. What is this? What's with ads? I don't know, man. The ads have been fucking us on YouTube. That looks like a truck. Yeah, I think that's a different. Different? The video doesn't go with the story? Yeah. That's nuts. The truck turned over. So kind of into it. Yeah. I mean, we need a video of this. How do you not have a video? If that's what you're into. Don't. Hey, did we ever find out what happened with that bomb? No? There's been no, like, updates? Not sure what you're talking about. The huge bomb. Ah. No, it it wasn't an attack. It was, they're still saying it was still just, like, fireworks. Oh, the explosion. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, look at this, Jake. That's a picture of the chocolate dusting. That's what I needed. Okay. So if that's like getting in your hair and stuff, that kind of sucks. Yeah, it's a bad time. 
That looks like a Coke, like a hot chocolate mix. If you're a homeowner, that's a pretty miserable time. Yeah. Chocolate everywhere? Might have, might have been cool for a second. Good time to be like a power wash company. Always. Always. That's not true. Power washers? If it's raining a lot. Those things are earth erasers. They're crazy. A lot of rain? The day my dad would rent the power washer and we'd power oh, wash the, yeah. the backyard patio. That's a big one. That's a fun day. It's a big day. Those things are crazy. Uh, better the day. Better the day. Better the, the day. Shark? Oh, the shark. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, the, did you see the Eddie shark at all? Yeah. He's been through a lot. I was reading on it this morning or last night because um, everyone... Everyone on Reddit was like, how do you know how old it is? Right. And then they're like, well, this is a picture of it when it was alive. Uh, they found it dead. And then you count the rings in the tree. No, it's something about the eyes, they said. Um, but I'm trying to find it. I don't know. I can't. This article is tough. Born between 1501 and 1744. I mean, that's such a long span. Mm. That's such... Imagine? Yeah. And, like, sharks, I mean, I don't think they're deep thinkers. So for, like, 400 years, that guy's just been thinking about eating. Nothing. Ugh. It's nuts. Bayesian statistics were first worked out by the Rev Bays in the 18th century. I don't okay. know. I don't know. The shark's old. You see, it looks old. It's an old shark. Looks like it's been through hell. Like, you can tell it's an old shark, yeah. Yeah. Better the day, it's awesome. the better the day. Better the day, better the day. Did you make a purchase this week? I think I'm about to get a pair of some short shorts. Uh, I, let me sh no. I mean, just to have short shorts. Three-inch running shorts. Wow. That's real short. Bet of the day. Bet of the day. It is the bet of the day. Yesterday, Jake took the over, which was 11 runs in the Red Sox-Phillies game. I disagreed. I thought it was too high. A lot of runs were scored. Nine. But it hit the under. So, we pushed on day one this week. You're a loser. I'm a winner today. I'm 20 and 20. You are 19 and 21. What is your next move, young Jake? Yeah, you were right on that one. I uh, three runs against the Red Sox, not acceptable, Phillies. But I, supposed to be one of the best offenses yeah. in the league. It's the Red Sox. Wasn't one of their good pitchers, so you let me down, Phillies. That's fine. You gotta, you know, you gotta come down at some point. Today's bet of the day. It's the bet of the day. Uh, Jam Dong, I think I'm going to, God, that's not, that's not great money. I need the good money, you know, the people want it. Um, okay. Let's go to Cincy and St. Louis. Sonny Gray versus Adam Wainwright. Uh, it's a low number, but I want it. Wainwright's an old warrior. He just fights. Sonny Gray's been on a great pace. The over-under is eight. I'm going to take the under. Okay. Adam Wainwright has looked good. Sonny Gray has looked good. I think that... You know, Bauer told Budweiser he was going to surpass Sonny's most Ks and first starts than he did. So I think there's a lot of fun competition between Sonny and Bauer, yeah. and they're pushing each other. So I think that I think Sonny Gray is going to shove. Um, 
I'm a little worried about Wayno. The last two starts have been good. Pittsburgh doesn't matter that much. White Sox, five innings, only two hits. That's a really good start by him. He's got some people on this red squad that hit him really well. Uh, Votto owns him. Tucker Barnard's got good numbers off him. Guy. Moose, decent. That's a low score. It's a low score. Eight. Leaving Sonny. Five to two. Five to two. Five went. one. Five one. Four three. Yep, yep. Because I won yesterday and you lost, I was, you know, just trying to see if I could catch you slipping. Yeah, and you did. Agreement again today, but I can't. Okay, I can't. I agree with you. That is a low score. It's low. It is your same strategy yesterday, where you took a really high over under and you still tried to go above it. Right. But I do. I'm with you. I think. I think we'll get that. So. Jake is stupid, but he's smart. I Itch. agree. Itch. I agree with Jake. Don't want you going 0-2 in the week. I appreciate that. So let's get uh let's get some good momentum going. Alright, sorry for the abridged episode today, guys, but Yankees Day game starts in 40 minutes, and we gotta do the talking baseball pregame show with Trev in about three minutes. So we will see you later. Thanks for hanging out. Be well. Later, Gators.